Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm aware I said that my last video was going to be my last video before I went on maternity leave, but I have a little bit of a, like a bonus video for you. This is kind of taking on from my last video, which was um, my talk about the diet industry and preying on your insecurities after the holiday season. But I thought that there are some people who are going to be embarking on a weight loss journey in January. And I wanted to, to maybe give five pieces of advice, um, six maybe, that I would have told myself if I was starting my journey now. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla. For those of you who don't know me, I have lost 183 pounds um, between January 2020 and March 2021. I am currently nine months pregnant and awaiting the arrival of our beautiful baby boy into this world any day now so I'm kind of nesting panic mode trying to get a couple of things done but I just wanted to come on I didn't want to leave you guys hanging so um, I'm recording on my iPhone I hope you don't mind the quality I've already put away all my camera equipment and everything so anyway I'm gonna get into this video so f five maybe six things that I would tell myself now if I was starting my weight loss journey today First thing is to be prepared and have low calorie snacks available in the house for when you need them. I remember the first week of my weight loss journey and I became starving all of a sudden and I didn't know what to eat. So having an idea of a couple of low calorie snacks that I could just feed myself with quickly helped me to not get emotional and not, um, you know, well, the first time I did get really emotional, I had a complete meltdown, was crying everywhere. So just something that you can eat and that you have available for you. So if you're starving, if you have that like panic that arises when you feel like, oh my God, there's no food, I need food. You don't just go and end up opening the fridge and eating everything in it. You have one thing and then you have a few minutes, half an hour to be able to make a really informed decision. Number two is to count your calories before you eat them. There is nothing worse than going to the end of the day and realizing you don't have as many calories left as you thought you would like to. By counting the calories before you eat them, you know how much is, how many calories are in a certain dish and you can plan out your meals better. So number three is to remove all trigger foods from the house. For me, a trigger food was tortilla chips. I couldn't have them in the house. I don't need them get them out of the house because you're only going to be tempted and especially you don't need that extra temptation in the first few weeks and days of weight loss journey you know like if you if you get that horrible feeling of being starving you know or like being really hungry you have realize you haven't eaten you know in a couple of hours and you're like quick i need something to eat you might end up blowing through a bag of tortilla chips you if you were me as you progress on through your weight loss journey and food starts to have less of a meaning you, these are things you can introduce back into your diet, but just at the start, removing them out really helped me. Number four is probably one of the most important ones, and it's something that is constantly misunderstood. You don't have to be motivated all the time to lose weight. You just have to be consistent. You just have to do it every single day and build good days on top of each other, and therefore you will lose weight. That's how you lose weight. It's not about needing to be motivated. Of course, you're motivated at the start. You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it for me, hopefully, if you've watched that video. You know, and that's fantastic. Being motivated is, is brilliant. But motivation wanes when that scale is not playing ball with you. When, you know, you're feeling a bit, blech, you know, one day, maybe if you're a woman, you're getting your period. You know, you're just feeling a bit, uh, you know, you're not motivated. It's raining outside. You don't want to get outside and go for your walk or your run or whatever exercise you're doing. You know, motivation will wane. It's not going to stay up there. But consistency is what picks it up. It's consistency and dedication. So making that decision that you are going to do this no matter hail, rain, shine, whatever, that you are going to do this and commit to yourself and being consistent every single day. There was a time in the past where, you know, like I would be good for four days and then three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I would eat whatever I wanted and treat myself. You know, that's not how I was ever going to lose weight. You know, there are definitely days that you can take off, but doing taking three days off every weekend is not going to help. So. Number five is keep going and eventually you will get there. There are so many times on a weight loss journey where things are, you know, like 
you're going to ebb and flow. Motivation is going to wane, as I said. The scales might not be playing ball. But the only way to guarantee your result is to quit. I want you to remember that. So if you are feeling like the scales is not playing ball, you know, you're only lost something or you maintained. You can't control the output number. You can only control the input. So the only way to guarantee your result is to quit because you're going to get the result that you don't want. The, by continuously keeping going, it's scientific fact that if you're in a calorie deficit, eventually you're going to reach your goal weight. Eventually, doesn't we don't know how long it's going to take, but eventually you're going to get there. So by keeping going, that is the only way to get there. You will get there if you keep going. And then number six is kind of a bit of a bonus one that I'm throwing in at the end. And that is to just to make sure you are doing this for you. Just to remember, if you watched the last video, that you are worthy of doing this. You are worthy of showing up for yourself, making a change for yourself. Not because anyone else told you that you need to lose weight. Not because anybody else is, you know, shaming you, guilting you. Make sure you are ready. And this is for you. That this is something that you want to do for you. And then it will carry you through. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit shorter, a little bit, a little bit out of breath from being nine months pregnant. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps some of you. Um, if you are embarking on this weight loss journey in January or any time, you know, these are the things that I would tell myself now um, if I was starting over again. And, you know, I, I hope that they stand to you as well. So guys, I really appreciate it. Happy New Year if you're watching this around the New Year. If you're not any other day, happy Tuesday. <laughs> if you have made it to the end of the video, please leave me a tick in the comments down below. And when I am back from maternity leave and when beautiful baby boy has arrived into this world, I will be back at some point and I will be coming making new videos and my postpartum journey as well and sharing that with you guys. So. Have a good couple of weeks and I will talk to you all later. Okay.